Francis Yao. I'm the uh, moderator of this uh, program. This is the uh, 12th uh, Nathan Bass UCS Liver Transplant Conference. I'd like to extend our warmest welcome uh, to all of you for attending this conference. And before I give you an introduction about UCSF liver transplant and the people within UCSF, I'm going to ask uh, Dr. Bass to uh, say a few words. Uh, we make it a tradition every year that Dr. Bass and I will be driving to Napa together and catch up. You know, we've been great friends, and he has been a great inspiration to me in many aspects, whether it's medicine, liver disease, or life in general. And uh, I think that uh, it's uh, always great to see him, and uh, you know, he's somebody that I always turn to when I have tough questions clinically or anything in general. So, so please give uh, Dr. Bass a warm round of applause. Always do that, you know. Yeah, you can hold that for me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Francis. Now, I'm just so happy to be here. Actually, I'm going to say a few words. I actually have some notes for my few words because I've discovered that when you're really happy and unprepared, you tend to ramble. So today I'll be succinct. Um, good afternoon to everybody. Um, I'll. Uh, firstly, uh, echo Francis's welcome to all of you, uh, because I know you're going to have a great time here today and tomorrow. Now, there are a few people I'd like to offer my personal thanks to. Now, first of all, thank you, Francis, and my thanks to all of my colleagues at UCSF uh, for affording me the really incredible honor of, of naming this uh, this update after me, the Nathan Bass liver update. I'm indeed deeply honored and delighted to be here. And especially since I don't really have to do anything except show up and uh, enjoy the great talks, the beautiful location, and to catch up with my colleagues and my friends. But uh, speaking of honors, um, I'd like to mention uh, that Francis, and certainly because he wouldn't make mention of this himself, uh, but Francis Yao was honored by the American Liver Foundation in the Northern California uh, chapter at their 2016 Salute to Excellence uh, for his stellar contributions to hepatology, uh, to the UCSF liver transplant program, uh, and of course his important work in the field of hepatocellular carcinoma and transplantation. And certainly there's no one who is more deserving of such honor and more that I'm sure will follow. So let's hear it for Francis, congratulations. I did not plan this. Uh. <laughs> oh, what do we talk about all the way here from? <laughs> Um, Francis is going to give you a detailed uh, information about the update sponsors, and I just wanted to add my personal thanks to the sponsors for their continued support of what is a singular uh, UCSF educational activity. And it's now, I think you said 12th year. I kind of had calculated an additional two years, but we'll have to figure out the math later. Anyway, to our sponsors, you're uh, key to the continuation of what has now become a, a terrific tr uh, tradition, and you certainly have everyone's sincere appreciation for this. And a special thanks, of course, to both Francis and Peggy Millar and Eitan, who I, I met today, um, and her other able assistants, for doing all the heavy lifting and putting together this outstanding program and making all the arrangements for everybody to come here and attend. So Peggy Francis, thank you. Um, again, I'm just so delighted and honored to be here, and I'd like to thank uh, all the program speakers, moderators. I know you've worked very hard towards this. 
And I know everyone's looking forward to hearing your superb presentations. There's a great selection of topics. And so without further ado, I'll hand you back to Francis. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Tony. That's uh, uh, really very special coming from you. Um, so again, welcome. Um, yeah, again, personally, I'd like to thank Peggy Millar with help of I-10 for doing such a wonderful job. And uh, I want to say that uh, we had to recall Peggy to do this for us because I can't do this without her. So thank you very much for doing it again for us. So uh, the objective of this program is to give you an up-to-date information from uh, you know, many, many uh, people who have spent a lot of time um, looking into specific liver disease entities and issues related to liver transplantation. And this is a great opportunity uh, for all of you to know more about the UCSF liver transplant program and the people and we definitely would like to get your evaluation and feedback, how we can do better. And uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, recognize uh, a lot of people here who have spent at least 20 years of distinguished service to UCSF liver transplant and transplant in general. Uh, John Roberts and uh, Nancy Asher, who is not here today, um, certainly she has been a great leader. Peter Stock, uh, Chris Fries, who will be here shortly, I think. Oh, Chris. Oh, Chris, hey. Uh, Chris. And uh, of course, Tony Bass. And uh, Barbara Moore, is Barbara here? Hey, Barbara, stand up. Uh, Anne-Marie Torres. Anne-Marie, hey. And uh, Mike Dragovich. And Laurie Carson. Okay. And uh, Pauline Rogers, social worker. Okay, great. Um, so some changes, new positions, additions. We don't have a lot of new additions, uh, John. Roberts has been appointed interim chair of Department of Surgery, and uh, Chris Fries has been appointed uh, interim chair, division of, uh, chief of division of transplantation. And Carrie Decker um, moved from inpatient team to post-transplant team. Uh, Ileana, Ileana, are you here? Yeah. Ileana uh, moved from hep C to post-transplant, and Jennifer Katamatori, I saw Jennifer, uh, rejoined the inpatient team, and EJ, Biden, I just met today, and uh, who joined the inpatient team in December. Uh, so it's just an update about some of the changes. And uh, for uh, CME, uh, so we actually don't have a deadline, so that's good. Uh, so I think it will be up for uh, you to uh, get your CME credit uh, probably by Monday. And just go online, it's in your handout. Uh, click on Nathan Bass UCSL liver transplant meeting and then uh, you get a printout and uh, it's very important for you to provide you know evaluation and feedback uh, before you get the CME and we would not be able to uh, hold this conference without the generous support of our sponsors and uh, please spend some time uh, to talk to them in the break uh, you know about you know, what they're doing, what's new in the world of liver disease. And uh, so the platinum uh, sponsors, Novartis and Gilead, thank you very much. The gold sponsors, Intercept, Estellas, Merck, Ethicon, and Bayer. And the silver sponsors, Epvi and Walgreen. Uh, thank you very much uh, for all your support. <laughs> and uh, a quick overview about our program. We talk about the, uh, the ECHO program, life donor transplant, frailty, um, the uh, ways to uh, really look at a new way of organ uh, preservation, um, advanced endoscopy EUS in PSC. We have a debate. This is going to be a tradition for us every year, having a debate. Um, and then NASH therapy, 
IgG4 autoimmune cholangiopathy, and immunosuppression withdrawal. And then uh, we'll have uh, questions and answers after each uh, discussion, or maybe even more after the end of the session. There's a reception uh, just uh, to your right here in the fairway deck uh, that will start at around 6, and then our seafood buffet in the Silverado Ballroom fairway deck at 7. And uh, uh, tomorrow morning, we'll start early with continental breakfast, uh, the program case presentation. Uh, we started about 9 o'clock, and we're doing uh, something new this year. Uh, we'll have uh, community physicians bring cases, and this year we'll start with the, our colleagues at Kaiser to uh, uh, have put together some cases for us and give us a hard time and you know, find out what we would do. And uh, so this is uh, going to extend to uh, all the community physicians in the near future. But we'll try this this year um, as one of the uh, uh, new things we're doing. And Ryan Gill, is Ryan here? Uh, he's our pathologist and who will be helping us with the histologies. And uh, we have a breakout session for pediatric uh, tomorrow bright and early. Uh, talking about hepatobiliary malignancy, autoimmune hepatitis, viral hepatitis B and C, immunosuppression, minimalization, uh, urinals, exceptions, and update in pancreas and small bowel. And uh, the mission of UCSL liver transplant is really to provide highest quality of specialized care to patients with liver disease, advancing the field of liver transplant through research and clinical experience. Uh, we have a big team. We have 13 transplant hepatologists, nine adults, four pediatric. We have nine transplant surgeons, uh, five MP, one nurse, uh, five nurse coordinator, one MP on the pre-transplant side. On the post-transplant, we have three MP and two physician assistants, um, liver donor, one nurse petitioner, one nurse coordinator. On the inpatient side, uh, two nurse petitioners, one nurse coordinator. Hep C, two nurse petitioners, one physician assistant, pediatric nurse petitioner, four social worker, and one independent living donor advocate. And uh, you know, taking care of patients who are critically ill on the inpatient service require really uh, very intense multidisciplinary effort, and we have a great team uh, composed of attending transplant hepatologist and surgeon. Uh, we have fellows from transplant surgery, transplant hepatology, and GI, three or four interns, medicine and surgery, two MP. We have transplant pharmacists really helping us, and nurse coordinator, dietitian, physical therapist, social worker, and case worker. We have a dedicated liver anesthesia team, ICU team to help us with ventilator management. And uh, the last few years, we get great input from transplant infectious disease as well. And uh, we're really proud of our results. Our numbers are really, we're even getting better. And uh, we had a record-breaking year in 2015, performed 179. It was like a, like a really great number that uh, we didn't uh, anticipate, but uh, we know that we're doing well, and uh, we're trying to sustain this number. And uh, as you can see, in the last eight years, we have, on average, usually around 140 to 180 transplants. And this year, we projected to be in the 170 range. So we are clearly the, the largest program in the Bay Area. And by 2015, we are number two in terms of total volume uh, in the country. And uh, we're very proud of the Life Donor Transplant Program. And Dr. Roberts will be talking more about that. That's the highest number in the country, performed 34 live donor transplants last year. And then uh, since 2005, we have either exceeded or met expectations in terms of one and three year graph survival. Uh, the results of every transplant program is being monitored nationally in the registry, and we have always performed extremely well. And we can't do this without the support of all of you from the community. And uh, our you know, goal is to really provide the best opportunity for liver transplantation uh, in terms of donor and recipient selection. 
and we take the approach that if we are really selective in, you know, in donor selection, we're not going to do enough transplants to help people. So we also, you know, very proud of the fact that our surgeons had tremendous technical skills and expertise. We tackle tough cases, portal vein thrombosis so that other transplant programs would not take on or liver retransplant. And uh, we are really the only robust living donor liver transplant program in Northern California for both adults and pediatric patients. So uh, we are really grateful for your support um, and uh, you know, providing good communication. We always learn, we always try to do better. And then you know, I'm available by cell phone or pager. People ask you, you still carry a pager these days? So I do, uh, but you can call me by cell phone, just not too early in the morning. I work late, but not way too early in the morning, and, uh, or email, and uh, I think that the communication is really important. And we have attending, both on the hepatology side and the transplant surgery side, taking call. There's no fellow doing this for us, so we are down the trenches. And we have some robust uh, outreach activities as well in Fresno, Modesto, Santa Clara, Reno, Fremont, Warner Creek. And uh, we constantly need your feedback so that we can do better, and we try to bridge the gap you know, between all of you and the team here. So thank you very much for coming and all your support.